Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I want to go ahead and shout out Britt. Britt was one of the first ones to email me this story, and once again, it's coming from our fifth favorite state, Nutty Ass New York. So what's going on now in New York, you ask? What's going on is that basically we have a situation where a mother left her two-year-old child home alone all night so that way she could go strip at the club. She's used to making about $1,000 a night. Well, while she was out at the strip club shaking her ass, her building caught on fire and her poor daughter, who was all of two years old, her name is Kalina Maldrow, basically died in this fire. They ended up finding her body underneath the bed. I want you guys to go ahead and watch these two news clips and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Well, John Thompson, we're outside the 8-1 precinct in Bed-Stuy where the dead girl's mother has been all day. She's still here now, being questioned by detectives who simply want to know why was her daughter all alone when fire broke out in their home early this morning? It's like a nightmare to me. It's like the nightmare to me of what's going on. An anguished father wanting to know why his daughter was all alone when fire raced through this house on Monroe Street just before 7 in the morning. It was an all-hands blaze, quickly brought under control. Firefighters did their customary searches of the building afterwards and thought everyone was out safely, until two hours later when the mother showed up crying frantically that her daughter had been in the house when the fire broke out. Another search yielded the lifeless body of little Kalina Maldro under a bed on the second floor. Beautiful, happy, she's two years old. You know, all she knew was to play and be happy. 20 year old Layla Aquino said she had left her daughter in the care of a babysitter whose name she did not know. Relatives, however, are skeptical. Why did you do that to her? Why did you let that happen to her? But how would you leave your baby in the house by him by herself? Why would you do something like that? I don't know. And that's what police are trying to determine. They've been questioning the mother all day at the 81st precinct. The father said, despite some erratic behavior in the past, he didn't think the mother would do anything to harm her baby. As far as I know, she loved her daughter, you know. I, you know, she got two loving parents. We just wasn't living together. And I don't think that she would leave her. And we're back at the 8-1 precinct, and Layla Aquino is still being questioned here. Uh, no charges have been filed against her. And one of the big questions still being asked is, why didn't firefighters find that little girl during their two routine searches during and after the fire? That, I'm told, is still under investigation, and fire marshals as well have been brought in to try and determine the exact cause of that fire. Three. We're we live. learned overnight that a mother has been charged after police say she left her child home alone. That two-year-old girl was killed when the apartment went up in flames, and now we're learning new details on what the child's mother was doing at the time of the fire. Eyewitness News reporter Dre Clark is live now with new details from Beverly Stuyvesant. Dre. Good morning, Lori. 20-year-old Layla Aquino is here at the 8-1 precinct in custody and facing numerous charges. Overnight, we've learned that Aquino was not at home yesterday during the time of the fire because she was away working as an exotic dancer, perhaps trying to get money to provide for her daughter and their well-being. But police say leaving her daughter at home was a very bad choice and also a criminal one. I can't believe it. Like, I just can't, I can't believe it. Like, my The death of her two-year-old godchild, too much to bear for Soraya Johnson. Police say little Kalena Muldrow had been left home alone. Her body was discovered under a bed after the fire in her Monroe Street home was put out. Police say her mother showed up nearly three hours later, saying she left her daughter with the babysitter. The babysitter denies that, saying she no longer watched Kalena because of a money dispute. The little girl's father, who didn't live with his daughter, spoke with her mom but he just can't believe her story. That's what she said, but who's to say it was really a sitter? You're I not convinced know. she even had a sitter? I'm not 100% convinced that she had a sitter. 
I'm sorry, I'm not sugarcoating nothing on news, for Facebook, no friends, no nothing. Like, if she was in that house, then yes, it's obvious she was neglected. Like, that's not cool. And again, 20-year-old Layla Aquino here at the 81 Precinct. She is charged with uh, endangering the welfare of a child as well as reckless endangerment. We're live in Brooklyn this morning. Dre Clark, Channel 7. I would All right, so you guys just watched the news clip, and a lot of things really disturb me with this story. So once again, we have another mother out here who has a two-year-old child, and she decides to leave the child at home alone. So from what I'm hearing, the child was left at home alone with a space heater, and this is what may have caused the fire. Now, what I do not understand is that she's claiming that she supposedly had a babysitter, and the babysitter supposedly left, but now the police have poked holes in her story, and they're finding out that there was no babysitter. She literally just left this two-year-old by herself. Now, what bothers me with these stories is that every time a child ends up dying of neglect, all of a sudden here comes the godparents, here comes the fathers, here comes the aunts, the uncles, and everybody else. Where are all these people to keep an eye out on this child? Why did she feel like she could not call the father of her child and take the baby to the child's father? Why did she feel like she couldn't call the child's godmother and take the baby to her? Something is not adding up with this entire situation. Well, all these people are coming out claiming that they supported her, they love this child, but yet and still she felt that she couldn't leave her child with these people. Another thing that bothers me is that they're saying this woman made about $1,000 a night, close to over $40,000 a year stripping. So everybody knew she was a stripper, including the father, including the godmother, okay? One thing I cannot stand with females is this. Now, supposedly she had a babysitter initially for the little girl, but the babysitter decided to stop babysitting because she was not getting paid. And I don't blame her because I'm sure the babysitter had her own bills to pay as well. What I always find funny is that bitches can strip, they can have money to get their lashes done, their nails done, money for jewelry, hair weaves, and everything else. But when it comes to paying somebody for watching your child, at that point in time, you want to be cheap and play a person. And I've been through that before where I would babysit for people when I was younger. And they would always play the shit out of me when it came to paying me to watch their child. And it's like, how is that okay? So I'm good enough to watch your child, but then when it comes to you paying me, now you want to give me 25 bucks as opposed to $100 for watching your child for the past 12 hours. You know, it's crazy. That's why I stopped babysitting and watching other people's kids unless it's my little nieces or nephews. I don't babysit other people's children really, if ever, unless I want to. And then at that point, if I want to watch your child, I'll watch them for free. But I notice a lot of parents will play the shit out their babysitter and don't want to pay them anything. But yet and still, you're making all this free money from stripping. So why couldn't you pay a babysitter? If you're making $1,000 a night, what is $100 to have somebody watch your child? If you don't feel like taking your child to her father's house or to the godmother's house. I don't feel bad for this woman, Leah Aquinello. What she did to me was disgusting. And then the fact that she came three hours after the fire, I'm sure everybody named mama was calling her, tweeting her, and letting her know that her building was on fire. And at that point in time, she knew her daughter was in that house. She knew she had left that baby in there. But I think what it was why it took her so long to even come and say anything was because she was trying to figure out her story, figure out who she could blame, you know, come up with this whole babysitter son. Scenario. You know, I can imagine how much terror that little girl went through when they found her body. She was under the bed. I can imagine how scared she was for her to run and hide under her bed trying to get away from the heat and trying to get away from the flames. I really hope that that little girl did not suffer or burn to death. I mean, this whole situation is just so sad and so disheartening that a woman would think that it's okay to leave her two-year-old child by herself, home alone, and this baby ends up dying in a fire while the mother's sitting at the strip club shaking her ass for random men. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation that's once again coming from Nutty New York. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.